Hello, this is Roman Sanchez for game 310, and this is my milestone 3. We're just going to get right on into it. Um, so the first thing that was on my list for milestone 3 was a designing AI and assets. Um, so for the AI, uh, in the last milestone, I had some little tanks up here. However, they have been replaced with viruses that follow you around. Um, I am also a virus at the moment, but these viruses are just kind of really simple um, self following AI, they follow you if they see you, they say die, because what else would they say if they're trying to kill you? Um, if they touch you, this is what happens. Um, so that's kind of really the only AI that I could think of when doing this level. I'm gonna have them all around. Just some this way as well, they also follow you if you get too close. Um, the cool thing about this level is that they interact with the uh, jump pads. So they'll actually, uh, as you can see there, they hit the jump pads when they try to chase you. So it makes this little bit, this little area a little bit more difficult because if they get too close, then they're gonna jump up and it'd be harder to dodge. Um, all right, so and there's one more over here. He's a little bit bigger than the rest. He follows you around, tries to kill you. So if you fall, you're most likely gonna fall right onto him and die. Um, so that's all I have for my AI assets. Uh, so for my next thing was I'm um, just kind of doing small little puzzles. Um, in terms of puzzles, I really just kind of kept it with the platforming and how you can get around it quickly or whatnot. Um, so like this, I would say is a puzzle in my opinion. I guess it can be considered a puzzle, not a puzzle in other people's opinions. Is getting across here without really knowing how. You have to learn that, oh, I can grab onto these wires and swing across. Um, and that's kind of what I came up with that. I did come up with a little easter egg puzzle over here if you jump through this teleporter. There's a lot of collectibles in here. That's Patrick, because why not? And then designing for the end of the map. So I finally figured out how to f make these buttons work. Um, I could not figure out for the life of me for the last couple weeks. Um, but there's a string that each button is attached to. It goes to these walls. And every time you do a button around the map, a wall gets knocked down, which reveals the end of the level, which is this little thing right here. Once you stand on it, the game will end. So that is the end of the level right there. And let's see, any any extra items or collectibles was my next step. I, around the map, I have placed some collectibles just kind of all around, just kind of not randomly placed, but placed in places so that people will take the time and like, oh, let me get this collectible really quick. And so forth. I think the only really strategic collectible I placed was this one, because once you land here, you don't really know where to go, but you see the bubble. So you're just like, oh, let me go get the bubble. See the light, and so forth. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of, that was my milestone three. Um, I figured out how to get around the pipes as well, which is what I was struggling with last time the last uh, milestone so I just added teleporters that go into each little each little tube the water coolers so it's pretty neat and then this one shoots you up this is kind of cool shoots you over here and then as you can see can't get there yet because I haven't pressed all the buttons so that is my milestone three I will be finishing up this level um, hopefully within the next couple of days, all I really have to do is decorate it, um, and I feel like I should be on my way with it. Um, oh yeah, and this is starting by the way. I've kind of messed with the camera a little bit. It's a little amateurish, or very amateurish I would say, but I feel like it kind of adds some little spice to the level, so I like it. Kind of gives a little... Well, I have to fix that. Alright, thank you.